Coming up on News 3 at 11, we'll hear from political analyst Steve Flowers about what to expect from campaigns as the election draws near. An East Alabama school counselor is making a difference by helping students care for their hair. WRBL News 3's Elizabeth White joining us live from our East Alabama newsroom. Elizabeth. So, Teresa, good afternoon to you. So, it's hard to be a kid these days, especially in middle school, under the glare of social media, image perfecting filters, and really impossible beauty standards. Tonight, we're going to introduce you to a counselor who has a special way of unraveling a bullying problem at her school. And, and I just do, like, I have a daughter, and I, I do what I would want someone to do for my child. Tiffany Gibson is a mom, school counselor, and founder of Girl Steps Inc., a nonprofit located at Opelika's Rain Tree Community Center. So we focus on girls in grades 3 through 12, where we're providing um, various interventions for them to be successful and our future leaders. Uh, we also offer an after school program where we offer that to girls and boys, as well as our summer camps. Gibson's been a school counselor for 21 years in Alabama and now Georgia. We no longer just guide kids. We have to take care of that social emotional learning. So we are m leaning more towards the mental health of our students because some kids just can't get through the day. Last year, Gibson noticed girls were being made fun of because of their hair, specifically their edges. I mean, that's a billion, trillion dollar industry, so hair is a lot. And with a lot of our African American girls, um, some of the products that we would normally get in for the school does not go well with the hair pattern or the texture of the hair. Gibson says it was a problem she could easily address, so, like many caring educators do, she used her own money to fill a need and purchased hair creams. Um, I call them into my office. And we go to work on that hair, and they go back out smiling. So that's at the end of the day. We want to make sure that we have healthy and happy kids, and, and, and especially girls who are feeling really, really good about themselves. Girls are no longer being made fun of for their hair. Gibson keeps the products at school in a bag with the girl's name on it, or the student can take it home. They'll come in and ask me if, if, they, if I have anything for their hair. And so I do it. Put on a pair of gloves, and I go to work, and they're happy. And and we're also building a relationship. You know that that's how I build a relationship with kids by meeting their needs. And I'm glad that they do feel comfortable enough with me to come to me and ask for help. Gibson feels certain hair bullying is a problem at other schools, and through Girls Inc., she is taking donations for hair care products to share with other schools and counselors. I mean, anything will help, and a lot of the kids they know how to do it. They may just not have the product to do it. And Ms. Tiffany is the best. If you would like to help fill this need, all you need to do is visit our website, WRBL.com. We have instructions on how you can help right there. Phil, Teresa, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Before heading to the break again, we want to thank you for trusting News 3.